how do we arrive at these figures here in our adjusted trial balance columns? By considering the first four money columns. One by one, from the first account name of cash down to the last one below, which is income summary, look at the first four money columns. Let's say here for cash, there is only one figure, 250,000, which is on the debit column. Therefore, just forward this 250,000 here in the adjusted trial balance debit column also. Same for this accounts receivable. We only have one figure along this row under the debit column. So just forward this 875,000 to the debit column of the adjusted trial balance. How about for the allowance for bad debts? We have two figures. 40,000 credit and 5,000 credit also. Remember this please. When you have the same side, credit and credit or debit and debit, just add the figures and write the sum under that side. Therefore here, 40,000 credit and 5,000 credit equals 45,000 on the credit side of the adjusted trial balance. How about when the two figures are of opposite sides, one debit and the other credit? We have to subtract and write the difference on the side of the higher figure. That's why here, for the prepaid insurance, 15,250 debit and 4,125 credit. We subtract. Equals 11,125 debit. Because 15,250 on the debit side is greater than the 4,125 on the credit side. Let's recap what you have just learned. Debit and debit, you add. Then write the sum on the debit side of the adjusted trial balance. Credit and credit, you add. Then place the sum on the credit side. Credit and debit, you subtract and place the difference on the side of the higher amount. When you have done all the additions and subtractions for each and every account name, up to the income summary here below, just like the first four money columns, you need to get the total debit and the total credit of the adjusted trial balance columns. Again, the total debit must equal the total credit.